Hello, Zebra Herd. In today's episode of Detective Pikachu Returns, Pikachu is meeting with more Pokemon who have been incriminated, but have they really committed these crimes? Let's find out together. Detainment Day 2, Pikachu, Morning. Well... Hmm, is morning already? Oh, that sure isn't the most comfortable place I've ever slept. But I guess complaining's not gonna get me out of here any quicker. Tim's working hard to prove my innocence. I need to do what I can from the inside. Just watch, Tim. This great detective's gonna find some even greater evidence. Talk to the Pokemon. Well, usually they're not too into talking to us, but I might as well chat. Oof, it's hard for me to look at things up close these days. <sighs> okay, seems like Pikachu doesn't have anything new to say, but we can chat, chat the Pangoro here was apparently more of a dancer, maybe a little more cheerful before being detained. Do you remember meeting before? Not here, somewhere else, a long time ago. Nope, pretty sure I don't know any Pangoro. Really? Sorry, must be thinking of someone else. It's really dim and humid down here, by the way. I know we're in the police station, but which floor? We're in the basement. All the Pokemon are locked up down here. How many floors does this station have? I don't know, but I do know that there are humans on the floor above us. Figures, is there any way to get out of this room? Unless the things I want to investigate is getting longer by the minute. You still want to make waves even after what happened yesterday? If a little zap could scare me off, I would I never would have become the great detective standing before you. You're a funny guy. Well, whatever you're planning, you ought to talk to Luxray about it first. He's been in here longer than I have, so he knows more about the place. Wow, just the guy I wanted to talk to. You gonna chicken out? Don't make me laugh, just you watch. I'll have him convinced in two shakes of my tail. Yeah, that's the spirit. Good luck. All right, well, we also have Sableye over this way. Say. Hey, I wanna to talk to Luxray. How can I make that happen? You think Luxray wants to talk to the likes of you? Forget about it, not gonna happen. I thought you might say that. Let's say we settled this with a contest, Sableye. A contest? Yeah, but no fighting. We're in a police station after all. This'll be a battle of wits between you and me. If you win, then I'll keep quiet, just like you want. But if I win, Bold words for a newbie. Okay, you're on. I'm gonna hide three jewels around the bed. All you gotta do is look for them. Find all three and I'll I'll, ta I'll let you talk to Luxray. Are you sure that you, that's how you wanna play this? I'm a detective, you know. Finding things is my whole shtick. And hiding pigs is mine. You can serve out a life sentence and still never find them. Now turn away and close your eyes. Okay, you can open them again. Now find those jewels, if you can. All right, so find the three jewels. Is there anything else to do in here before we get started with that? I guess not. So we have to search around for the jewels. Okay, now to search for those jewels. There should be three in all. It's detecting time. Okay, so there's a big box of berries back here. Maybe we can look through here? A toy box, huh? Oh no, there's a toys. Yeah, I guess these are all toys, they're not actually berries. There sure is a lot of stuff inside. I'll try to get a look at it from a different angle. Oh, and look at this, there's a gem inside. Aha, here's one. Okay, nothing more to do there, but there is, of course, another little berry on the side. I can't examine that, but inside the bowl, I found another. All right, found ya. What about over here? Three plus toys are shaped like berries. I hope nobody mistakenly tries to eat them. Is that it on this side? I guess so, but it could be up here. I guess not. Is there really not anything else I can look at? It seems like it, but there is still more I can kind of poke around with over here. Maybe. Nothing really to inspect, but, oh, up there. Okay, I found it. Wow, you had a jewel here? Kind of feels like he's making fun of me. Okay. <laughs> Looks like there's nothing more to see here. We found all three of them. We'll talk to Sableye. Did you find the jewels? 
You bet I did. Every last one. What do you think of that? W what? I've never thought you'd find all three. Now you're gonna keep your promise and tell Luxra I wanna talk to him, right? I probably don't even have to tell him. This, this is Luxra we're talking about. He can see through walls, you know. He's probably watching our room as we speak. See through walls, huh? Bet that comes in handy. All I need now, all I need now is a way to reach Luxray's room. You could just talk to him on the roof. Nah, I don't have time to wait for that. There's gotta be another way. Hmm. Oh, maybe that vent. Hmm, that looks like a duct. You think I could get into another room through it? The problem is getting up there. I can't just climb up like, like with Executor. You're hopeless. What? What? what are you? Uh oh! Uh oh! I'm not! Oh no! Yikes! That must have hurt. But it worked. We're in the next cell over. All right, uh, so we'll talk to Luxray and everybody else too. Oh, you're that weak little newbie from yesterday. What'd you come in here for? You are so high and mighty, but I bet you're not really that strong. Stronger than you at least. Some more newbies got brought to the other rooms today, but I bet none of them are as weak as you. There are more rooms? I don't know what's in them. Yeah. Luxray has been waiting for you. So you've come, Pikachu. Hi, Luxray. Thanks for that electrifying introduction yesterday. You talk too much, and yet, perhaps you're not all talk. I saw what you did with Sableye. It looks like you do, do have a brain in your head at least. I see you finally recognize what I'm capable of. Well, did, did you, didn't you have something to discuss with me? Yeah, something fishy's going on in the station, it, and it stinks. I wanna solve this mystery and prove my innocence. You think you can do that? I don't think I can. I know I can. At least, if I have my partner and all of you working together with me. Is that so? Well then, why not? Wow, you didn't take much convention. convincing. I feel like I got all worked up for nothing. I have my own motives. I merely thought that working together may help me achieve my goals. That's all. Then why weren't you friendlier to begin with? If I invited every newcomer to join my cause, I'd soon find myself burdened by incompetence. So you were testing me, huh? I'm not, I'm not sure you and I are gonna get along all too well. So, what do you plan to do now? First, I need some information. What can you tell me? More newcomers arrived today. There are two more entertainment rooms apart from ours. It appears they were put in there. Some newly detained Pokemon. The plot thickens. Wait, Pikachu, enough talk for now. A human is coming this way. Go back to your to your room at once. Sure, thanks for the warning, Luxray. That vision of yours really is something else. This is no time for idle banter. Hurry. Okay, okay, see you later then. Oh no. <gasps> Someone's coming. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like you're behaving. Isn't that Butler? Why would why would the chief come down here himself? I hear there was a bit of a tussle yesterday, but it looks like Pikachu's not injured. Were you worried about me? Aw, oh, shucks. Ugh, what a hassle. Huh? Urgh, I'm sick of this. What's going on? It's like he suddenly flipped the personality switch. Why do I have to go out of my way to personally check on him? What a waste of time. It's just one measly Pikachu. Hey, watch what you're saying about me. Oh, shut up. Pika Pika all you want. No one's coming to rescue you. Read my lips. You're never getting out of here. Doesn't seem like a very friendly guy. What was that all about? He was like a totally different person from the guy we met before. The mysteries just keep piling up in this place. But at least he's gone now. Time to get back to the investigation. I'll go visit the new Pokemon that just got in today. So go to the rooms where the newly detained Pokemon are being held. Well, what kind of things can we do around the jail cell now? We can talk to uh, Sableye. Say, 
So you're in good with Luxray, huh? Nice work, Pikachu, I knew you could do it. Wow, talk about an attitude adjustment. An adjustment you've earned. Come on, I'll tell you anything you wanna know, since we're pals and all. About you, Sableye. Hey. So, Sableye, tell me a bit about yourself. I can eat gems. Some call it a skill, but that's just how I enjoy those tasty treats. Wow, that's amazing. You must make some awfully, you must have some awfully strong teeth. Why were, were you brought here? Hmm. What are you in for, Sableye? A while back, a human suddenly snatched me and brought me here. Same with me, but what did you do? I don't know what I did. I guess that human just felt like putting me here. Anything on your mind? Say. Well, I can't eat any gems here, which has been bugging me a lot lately, and well, yeah, go on. I guess I just have wish Luxray would lean on me a little more. I wanna help him out, but Luxray seems to have something else on his mind. Huh, you're a surprisingly good guy underneath it all, so you're worried about Luxray? What do you mean, surprisingly? I'm allowed to be worried about someone. What's wrong with that? Easy, easy, don't get so heated. I'll go see what Luxray has to say, okay? All right, we'll, we'll talk to uh, Pangoro as well. Sounds like you were able to talk to Luxray. Yeah, thanks for your help with that. Don't worry about it, just let me know if there's something else I can do. Hmm, actually, can I ask you some questions? About you, Pangoro. Hey. Tell me about yourself, Pangoro. Well, just look at me. I'm good at jobs that require muscle. That's a big help, but if you have to throw me again, maybe don't use all that muscle next time. What? Oh no, uh, why were you brought here? Hmm. So what are you in for, Pangoro? I have no idea. I was just living my life, minding my own business, when suddenly the police surrounded me. Then they put this cube thing on my back. And after that, it's just like what happened to you. What kind of slipshod operation are they running? I'm amazed you went so quietly. And tell you the truth, I don't remember that part. Nothing at all? I guess you could say I just suddenly woke up here. It felt the same as when we go to the roof. That makes sense. Interesting. So it can happen outside the station too. Anything on your mind? Hey. Is there anything about this place that you're wor that's worrying you? This room is too small. Yeah, I imagine it would be for a big guy like you. And I don't like the voice we hear when it's time to go to the roof. Whenever we hear that voice, my head goes all fuzzy and I feel sick. Same. I also lost my memory of what happened right after that announcement. Covering my ears doesn't help either, I hate it. All right, well, I think that's all we can do with these two, so maybe we can run up here and find our way back in? Luxray said the other, there are other two other detainment rooms. I don't know what's going on there. I ought to go through the ducks and check. All right, Pangoro, go slow, okay? Aim for a speed record, got it. Poor Pikachu. Whoa! A perfect 10 point landing. All right, so where are we now? Uh, you, that was close, but I managed to get out. Okay, I made it to another room. One that isn't mine or Luxray's. I should go talk to the new Pokemon I heard were brought here. So yeah, let's see who's around. Uh, for now, whoa, it's a... Uh, more Pekko. Angered when hungry. Hey, more Pekko. Can I talk to you for a second? I got nothing to talk about. Got any food? The PPB's been providing us with food. Huh? You think I got time to wait for those bozos? Well, while we're waiting, why don't you chat with me? It'll kill time. You're annoyingly persistent, you know that? About you, more Pekko. Hey. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself, more Pekko? Well, I know this this one move, it's pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. It goes back and forth between being an Electro-type move and a Dark-type move. An Electro-type move, you say? Just to be clear, you haven't done anything to a Slowpoke statue, have you, Morpeko? What the heck are you talking about? Why would I do something like that? That's what I thought, never mind, forget it. Why were you brought here? Hmm. So what are you in for, Morpeko? I'm in here because of some lousy, stinking, no good humans. They said I say I stole someone's food. Why the heck would I go and do a thing like that? Urgh, just thinking about it makes me so mad. I understand how you feel, but please try to calm down. Making a scene in here won't solve anything. Stop telling me what to do. 
Anything on your mind? Hey. Is there anything about this place that's been eating at you? Yeah, there's nothing to eat. How many times do I gotta tell you? Now give me some food already. Sadly, I don't have any food to share with you, buddy. They're so hungry and so mad. I'm sure they'll bring you some food later. Just hang in there a bit longer. All right, pour more Pekka. Hope they get some food soon, but oh no, we just saw you before. Hey, Intellion, can I talk to you for a bit? And who are you supposed to be? I'm the great detective Pikachu. I'm looking for info that could help us get out of here. Now I get it. You must have come from one of the other rooms. I only just arrived here today. What do you suppose I can do to help? I'm just trying to learn what I can. Even the smallest detail could make a big difference. All right, I'll do what I can to assist you. Thanks, you're a pal. About you, Intellion. So what's your story, Intellion? I can chew water from my finger. I water flowers to help them grow. That's nice of you. Seems like that skill would come in handy, and not just for gardening. I suppose I could use Water Gun to play with other Pokemon, but that's not really my speed. I'd rather live a more peaceful, elegant life. Why were you brought here? Hmm. So what are you in for, Inteleon? Mistaken identity, I'm afraid. They seem to think the low, I'm um, the lowlife who went berserk at the flower shop. It's rather upsetting. Gardening is my passion, after all. So you didn't do it? Of course not. I'm the florist's partner. I help her tend to the flowers every day. Why would I ruin them? Makes sense. I believe you, Inteleon. Thank you, but I do wonder who the real culprit is. Anything on your mind? Hey. Is there anything else that's been on your mind lately? I know that my human partner must be so worried for my sake. And I'm worried about the flowers and plants I left behind. Do you think they'll grow strong without me? I'm sure they're okay. Plants can be surprisingly tough. I certainly hope so. Yes, I have to believe that. Hmm. Looks like I said that there were two other rooms, which leaves one more to go. I'll try going there too. So I don't think there's anything else to do here, but there is another detainment room we can get to if we go well. back up. Let's see, how can I get up the duct? Thanks for the help, Intellion. Intellion. Sure thing. Try not to bite your tongue. <laughs> Here we go again. That hurts. Poor Pikachu. Okay. Okay, this is the last room. It looks like I could get up to the next floor through the duct, but who knows where I'd pop out. I don't want to draw too much attention yet. Right now, I'm just gathering intel. Oh no, it's you. We saw you in front of the one uh, little flower Roger. cart, I think it was, or some kind of cart. Uh, so you were brought here too, huh, Watchhog? What are you doing here, Pikachu? The same as you, I'd imagine. Huh, what? What do you mean? Just calm down for a second. I want to ask you some questions, Watchhog. About you, Watchhog. Can you tell me more about yourself, Watchhog? I can make my eyes glow. That's brilliant. I bet that makes it a walk in the park to see where you're going at night. I bet you'd, be I bet you'd better not look at me then. I glow so bright it can be blinding. Why were you brought here? Hmm. How'd you end up in here, Watchhog? No, wait, I'm pretty sure I can guess the answer by now. What do you mean? You were snatched up by some humans over something you're pretty sure you didn't do, right? Y yes, exactly, wow, good guess, Pikachu. That's exactly what, what everyone's been here, here's been saying. I arrived here last night. What about you, Watchog? Today, so not that long ago, actually, I was startled by a group of humans suddenly surrounding me. At first, I thought I was just a really popular Pokemon, but I guess not. It must have been alarming, having people get the jump on you like that. Anything on your mind? Anything bothering you right now, Watchog? I was protecting the city the best way I know how, so I hope everything's fine out there without me. That's what's bothering me. With all these Pokemon getting detained, it seems like things out there are anything but fine. But I don't know if there's much you could do to stop it, even if you were out keeping watch. Oh, I hate feeling so powerless. All right, well, there was Watchog, and there's a Dedenne. <coughs> Dedenne, electricity please. Another electric type Pokemon. Oh, a Dedenne. Mind if I ask you a couple questions? Ah, you're Pikachu, aren't you? Huh? Yeah, I'm Pikachu. What of it? 
It's all your fault. I'm in here because of you. Whoa, wait a second. What are you talking about? You broke the Slowpoke statue and found Plaza, didn't you? Thanks to you, all the humans are suspicious of me. You've gotta be kidding me. Are they just sound, sound, rounding up any Electrotype Pokemon they find? Listen to Dene, I'm not the one who broke the Slowpoke statue. Huh, then why did they bring me in? I'm trying to figure that out. That's why I wanna hear what you know. About you, Dene. Hey. You can use Electrotype moves, right, Dene? So, what about it? You sure you didn't damage that Slowpoke statue? Nah, of course you didn't. Why in the world would I wreck some statue? What possible good could that do me? Point taken. Sorry for doubting you. Why were you brought here? Hmm. So, you said it's my fault that you were brought here to Denai. They must think that I'm in cahoots with you or something, but I don't even know you. Come on, cut me some slack already. Seriously, what's the PPB even thinking? If they really think I'm the culprit, then detaining me should have been the end of it. Anything on your mind? Hey. Has anything been worrying you since you got here? Are you seriously asking me that? The only thing I care about is what I'm getting out of here. I need to get back home. I've got a human partner who's probably worried sick about me. Yeah, I get that. I don't want him to worry either. All right, well, it seems like that's, well, that's not everybody. We got a Greedent over here too. Greedent, berries or bust? Hey, Greedon, can I ask you some questions? Sure, that's fine, but who are you? I'm the great detective Pikachu. Don't worry, I'm on your side. Wow, a great detective? That's so cool. So, what did you want to ask me? About you, Greedon. Hey. What can you tell me about yourself, Greedon? My teeth are stronger than other Pokemon's. I can bite through and chow down on any berry. Mind using those nice hard chompers of yours to chew a hole in the wall and get us out of this room? Is that a serious question? <laughs> Guess I bit off more than I can chew with that question. Why were you brought here? Hmm. So tell me, Greedent, what are you in for? Who knows, because I sure don't. I was just eating berries today like I do every day. You didn't steal those berries from anyone, did ya? I can never do a thing like that. Stealing stuff is bound to get you into a fight, you know? No matter how badly I want to bury, I'd never get in a fight over one. That sounds painful. I feel ya. But in that case, why did the PvP detain you? Anything on your mind? Hey. Is there any is anything bothering you, Greedent? Just that there aren't any berries here. You don't happen to have any, do you? Afraid not. Aw. If you find any, could you please give them to me? Sure, I guess, but I doubt I'll find any berries just lying around the police station. Now that I think of it, I haven't seen berries in this building, but I did see some trash. What sort of trash? Wanna see for yourself? 2168. This is a note written by a human. It says 2168. It doesn't mean anything to me. What if I take this note? Well, okay, but only because I can't eat it. Thanks, Greedent. Hmm. All the Pokemon here say they were brought in for things they didn't do. That's a few too many innocent Pokemon being detained to chalk it all up to coincidence. Doesn't anyone else think this is strange? I better broaden the scope of my investigation a bit. I'll go talk to Luxray again. So let's go to Luxray's room. Uh, I guess just through here, who's gonna shove us through the vent this time? Okay, how to get up there? Watch Hog, I'm counting on you. What? Watch Leave it to on. me. Make sure you curl up into a ball. <laughs> Pikachu just getting tossed around a bunch today. <laughs> I did it! Ow. All right, we're back in here. Let's uh, talk to everybody we can. You look so cute, but you must be smart too for Luxray to invite you into his inner circle like he did. Looks aren't everything, what matters are feelings. My goodness, such stirring words. You're just full of surprises, aren't you? About you, Lipard. Hey. Tell me about yourself, Lipard. Let's see, well, I can move around very discreetly. That's about it, in terms of my special skills. If you could do that, can't you escape this police station? That would be difficult. The police may not notice me, but I can't deceive a machine. Why were you brought here? Hmm. Why were you brought here, Lipard? 
I was spending time with my friends Luxray and Sableye. The three of us were brought here at the same time a while ago. They rounded up the whole group of you, did they? Not quite. Our friend Mighty Yenna was also with us that day. He's the only one who managed to avoid capture. Why only Mighty Yenna? I don't know. Luxray knows more details, but he won't tell me. Anything on your mind? Hey. Has anything been worrying you, Lipard? Yes, I'm worried about Luxray. He seems so down, as if something is weighing heavily on his mind. Any idea what it could be? You'll have to ask him, I'm afraid. Perhaps he'd be willing to open up to you. All right, sure. Uh, and then we can also catch up with uh, Imp. Impidimp. You must be pretty amazing to get into Luxray's good graces, even though you're so weak. I'm not sure if that's a compliment or an insult. It's a compliment, of course. By the way, when can we get out of here? Whoa there, Impidimp, slow your roll. I'm still exploring the building. Oh, okay, I'm looking forward to leaving this place, though. About you, Impidimp. Hey. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself, Impidimp? I'm good at playing pranks. Startling people is so much fun. What sort of pranks? So like, after dinner's over, I like to prank my partner real good by carrying his dirty dishes to the kitchen. Is, is that a prank? It's not a prank. Why were you brought here? Hmm. How'd you wind up in here, Impidimp? And why? I used to live with my human partner, but one day, a police officer showed up while I was playing by myself and took me here. Had you done anything bad? Hmm, I mean, I like pranks and all, but I don't think I did anything worth locking me up like this. Uh, I just wanna get out of here soon so I can see my partner. Anything on your mind? Hey. Anything worrying you, Impidimp? I guess just thinking about my partner. He's a happy-go-lucky kind of guy who really enjoys my pranks. I just hope he hasn't forgotten about me. I'd be so lonely without him. Don't worry, no one could ever forget a guy like you. All right, well, Impidimp seems nice. Let's go talk to Lux right now. Ah, Pikachu, you're back. Yeah, I went and checked out those other rooms. More and more Pokemon keep getting brought in here, and none of them have done anything wrong. Just like those of us in here. So, so it's like the same story with you guys, huh? You should talk to the others yourself if you want more details. Will do. But also, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. I wanna get out of the, the detainment rooms and investigate the rest of the station. You know how I could do that without being noticed? No humans will find us if I use my special vision to avoid them. Now that would be out of sight, but how can you and me get out of here? That's ah, simple enough. We just need to open the door. What? What are you talking about? There's a room nearby where many humans gather. In that room is a machine. The humans appear to lock and unlock rooms by operating the machine. Must be a guard room. So they're managing these doors with machines instead of keys. I'm surprised you knew all that. I observed the humans through walls and they get uh, as they operate operated the machine. But I don't understand how it works, and I can't leave this room. That's where I come in, huh? Do you know anything else? Like what sort of controls they used? They appear to be pressing down on some small protrusions. Maybe it needs a passcode or something? Oh yeah, there was that note from earlier. Can you get there from that duct in the wall? Won't know till I try. There are currently no humans in that room, but don't let your guard down. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's go to the guard room. All right, so I guess we just talked to Luxray for that. What is it? Weren't you going to investigate that machine? Yeah, there's a number on this note, 2168. I think it's the passcode. But first I wanna ask you a couple of things, Luxray. About you. Hey. You're a Pokemon of many talents, Luxray. Not only do your electric type moves pack a punch, but you can even see through walls and things. I gotta say, I'm pretty jealous. Both of those are as natural as breathing to me. You can generate electricity too, can't you, Pikachu? Mine is no different. Uh, yeah. What is it? Why are you making that face? Uh, why were you brought here? Hmm. So, Luxray, is it safe to assume you have no idea why you were captured? No, I do have an idea. Is this something you did? I don't feel like getting into that right now. Hey, come on. Now you've got me curious. Stop questioning me or and, and go investigate that machine while the humans are still away. Anything on your mind? Is there something that's been on your mind, Luxray? I'm certainly beginning to wonder if you'll ever go open that door. All in good time, anything else bothering you? 
I won't say there isn't, but it's nothing I need to talk to you about. <sighs> Mira, I thought we were working together. Why won't you open up a little? We are working together, and that's all we're doing. All right, well, Luxray, not the talkative type. How are we getting out of here? I'm actually not sure. So, uh, nothing at the door? Do we just walk back up to the vent then? Let's see, which room should I go to? The guard room, here we go. Come on, Lightbird, you got this? I'll try, I do hope we're successful. All right, here we go again. Oh. At least no one saw that. <laughs> All right, we've made it through. This should be the room Luxor was talking about. They must control the detainment rooms from here. So where's the machine he mentioned? Find the machine that unlocks the doors. The number on the note is 2168. So we'll take a look around and see what we can do. I mean, it has to be that thing, right? But is there anything else to do in here? There's a chair. Looks like a floor plan of the police station. Whoa, it seems to be made for the public, but that's okay. This will make it easier to explore the station. Let's see, I'm in the basement level of the building. There are two stories up above, and that's where the human offices are located. I think I'll borrow this map for a while. Gotcha. And anything else to do in this room? I like this music. Uh, I don't think so, so I guess we'll just directly interact with this machine. This ought to be the machine that can unlock all the doors to our rooms. Uh, just like I thought, it's set up to open the doors when a numeric passcode is entered. I'll try the number from the note greeting gave me. Okay, so it was 2168, right? Here's hoping. All right, that worked. Perfect. Yes, words like a charm. That should, should have opened the doors. Hey. Now to hightail it back to the detainment rooms before any cops show up. So I guess we did it. <laughs> Guess what, I've unlocked the doors. Now we can explore the rest of the police station. Well done, I was right to join forces with you. Finally giving me my due credit, huh? Then let's get investigating. Yes, let's, you can ride on my back. Whoa, okay. Luxray, let's do this. Uh-oh, whoa, oh, yikes. A little taller than Growlithe. Come on. Can't someone give me a little help? You can't even get yourself up there. How precious. Oh, uh oh. Whoa, not like that! <laughs> All right, we made it. Let's go, Lux right. Yeah. All right, <laughs> we're doing it. That's so cool. Where shall we inspect first? I'd like to hear what your plan is. Well, if we're looking at a station investigation, let's start with the first floor. According to the floor plan, we can find reference room there. The first floor, very well. All right, Luxray, let's go. So yeah, we're riding around on Luxray, this is so cool. How precious, it almost looks like Luxray is babysitting you. Don't mock us. Yeah, you clearly don't understand how cool we look. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. I feel very safe in your hands, both of you. <laughs> Is there more to say? You're planning to investigate this building, right? Do be careful. What does Impidimp say? Wow, Luxray lets you, lets you ride on his back? Pretty cool, huh, Impidimp? After all this is over, I'll let you hitch a ride on him. Don't promise that without consulting me first. Come on, why not? It's no skin off your back, right? <laughs> Must be nice riding on Luxray's back like that. All right, so we can just leave through the front? I suppose so. Thanks for your help, Luxray. Couldn't have done it without you. Luxray. No need to thank. How are you so cool? <laughs> it's true, he's really cool. So I guess we'll just run around the police station and see what we can get to. Um, it looks like there might be other doors we can open. Can we free them? Really? Yeah, and we can talk to them too. Well, whoa, Pikachu, are you out of your mind? That's Luxray's, Luxray you're writing. Hey, Luxray can hear you now. It's fine. Here's the Denai. Oh wow, a Luxray. Hey, were you brought here because of the Slowpoke statue to Luxray? No, it seems like Luxray is here for something else. Oh. Credent. Oh, the door opened. Does this mean we can leave now? Just sit tight a little longer, please. 
we're gonna go check out the rest of the building first. By the way, we couldn't have gotten the doors open without your help. Thanks, Greedon. All right, so moving out of this one, and then over here we have the Inteleon and the Morpeko. I can't take this much longer. When's the food coming? I already told you, a police officer should be coming by later to bring you some food. Urgh, I hate this, but I'll wait just this once. Oh my, what do we have here? The door open appears to be unlocked now. Yeah, but don't jump the gun, Inteleon. We can't make a break for it yet. Just wait for now. All right, so glad they're doing okay though. And then that was it for this room. If we go back over to the right, I'm guessing there's gonna be at least one more jail cell, which is where we started. We got Pangora. You must have unlocked the door to get in here. I didn't know you could do that. I'm pretty good at this sort of thing. Luxray came up with a plan and I pulled it off. I see, I wouldn't be able to do that. But even though the door's unlocked, don't try to escape just yet. We need to investigate a little more before we can be sure we'll actually get out. Okay, I trust you two, so I'll wait here. We won't fail you. And then we can talk to you again, actually. I'd help you investigate, but I'm too easy to notice. I'll wait here. And then, uh, Sableye. Hey. He's very small, so it's hard to walk up to you. Luxray, I've never seen you like this before. We need Pikachu's help to get out of here. Yeah, we've teamed up. I'm really counting on Luxray here. <sighs> if only Luxray would team up with me. Hey. Sorry. Pikachu, I'm so jealous of you right now. Okay, we'll head out of here, and I mean, that seems like everything here, we can go to 1F some way, somehow. I'm guessing off in this direction. Be careful, Pikachu. There seems to be human inside that room. There weren't any people there when I was in that room earlier. They must have just come back. We need to be very careful going forward, then. The last thing we want is for them to notice us. Ride action. If you're near something Luxray can see through, such as a wall, see-through objects will display. Press the R button at this time to see through walls and other objects. See into the room so you can sneak by the police officers when they aren't looking. If they catch you, you'll have to start over. Okay, let's go for it. So we can see through objects like this room, but we can't do that and move at the same time. So we have to be very careful, but it looks like the police officer isn't quite doing anything when it comes to uh, getting out of that room. So we can go past it, no problem. Now. Which room did you want to go to? Just a second, I'm checking the floor plan. First up is the reference room, which we're close to now. After that, let's head to the meeting room right next to it. Looks like there's a really big room in the back too. There are a lot of humans in that room. In that case, we should probably leave that one for later. Then let's begin with the nearby room and the one next to it. Yeah, it's all up to you, Luxray. All right, so investigate the reference room and meeting room without being spotted by humans. So the first one is gonna be right here, and there is somebody in there. If I go over here, it looks like they are turning around, so this might be our opportunity to try to go in. There we go, there we go. And, uh, hey, I think this is a manual for those cube-shaped devices they stuck on us. What devices? Haven't you seen them stuck on everyone's backs? There's one on you too, Lux, right? Let's see, the manual explains how to attach one to a Pokemon. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. Doesn't explain what these things actually are at all. Well, they've got tons of manuals here. I don't think anyone will notice if I take just one. Okay, and it looks like there is more back there, but I'll leave some of it for now. Hmm. But, uh, okay, don't need to look at that again. Over here, is there anything? Yeah, there's some stuff. Whoa, hey, wait a minute. Look, it's a photo from when the Slowpoke statue was damaged. And that's clearly you in it. Except it isn't me. So what's going on in this photo? I'm going to hold on to this. I want to look into it with Tim. Could it be that they already got the device on Pikachu sooner than we thought? Okay, I think that's all we need to see in this room. Then let's move on to, the, to another one. So I guess I could go this way. What happens if I back up instead and try to go into that other room that was over here? Uh, the right here. Is there anybody inside of this one? Doesn't seem like it. So we should be able to head inside this meeting room and uh, find some other information, right? I would hope so. There's some papers on the on the desk. Here's a list of all the incidents that were supposedly caused by the Pokemon being detained here. Stuff like stealing people's food, destroying a flower display at the florists, and my name's on here too. Property damage at Fountain Plaza. 
This whole list is nothing but a load of malarkey. I know I didn't do this, and the others all said they didn't do these things either. Oh, here's your name, Lux, right? It says you and Mighty Yenna were running amok just off 2nd Avenue. What well, really went down that day? I don't think this is the place for a long conversation, do you? Now's not the time, huh? Guess I'll ask again later. Wait, what the? There's a ditto on this list. I didn't see any ditto in the detainment rooms, did you? No, I've never seen one here. Hmm, guess it was brought out here before us. Maybe it already got released. Or maybe one of these Pokemon are who they say they are. And I gotta be careful because there's somebody coming in from the left, I think. It's a list of Pokemon that are wanted by the PPB. But look at how many there are. Do they really intend to detain all these Pokemon? Would this many even fit in the station? Is Mighty Anna's name on that list? Yeah, it says Mighty Anna right here. I see. How do you and Mighty Annie know each other anyway? That would take too long to explain. Really? Then we can circle back to that later. Is there anything more to do in this room? Yeah, there's a poster. Okay, it looks like they're leaving. That's good. What the heck is this? A poster celebrating Butler's promotion to chief? So it's been a year since Butler got put in charge. Can't say he's got much taste, patting himself on the back with stuff like this. Okay. Okay, I think that's all we need to see in this room. Mm. Well, we did a lot of investigating, but we still haven't found anything to prove my innocence. And we learned a little more, but not enough to help us get out of this place. I'd really like to see exploring other areas too, but if we go somewhere with too many humans, we'll get spotted. Yeah, I know that, but I'm really curious about Butler. Somehow, I need to get a good look at a look around the chief's office up above us. Then let's go. Where is this room you're after? According to the floor plan, it's on the second floor. Let's go, but be careful. Investigate the, okay, go to the chief's office on 2F. So we're heading up. Hey. The chief's office is on this floor, just past the turn down this hallway. Understood. So if we take a look, wait. We can't go past here. There's a human sin guard. What? But the chief's office is right in front of us. I really want to investigate that room, but I guess it's not going to be easy. Should we turn back? Hmm. I know. Can you see through ceilings and stuff too? Of course. But what of it? You can see the rooms below you from the roof, right? Ah, I see what you're getting at. Quite the underhanded scheme there. Call it a clever scheme at least. Anyway. Now that we've got a plan, let's head up to the roof. All right, so let's go to the roof instead, which is just one staircase above this. Yeah. Okay, we made it to the roof, and lucky for us, there's no one else here. I can't see all the way from here. I need to get a little closer to the room. Okay, then let's stand directly above it. I think it was clear, it was near the center of the building. So look into the chief's office from directly above it, which hey. uh, you should be able to see through the chief's office from here, right? Yes, I'll take a look. Scope it out, Luxray. I'm on it. Bowler's just sitting in his chair, looking all self-important. Even doing his work. Huh? Do you see anything suspicious? There's a duct outlet on the wall. Ah, that means I can sneak in through there. And I see a bowl on the floor too. For a Pokemon maybe? Uh, except I've never seen Butler with a Pokemon. There's also a sturdy metal box with something inside of it. Huh, could be a safe. Yeah. The safe in particular seems really suspicious. There's gotta be something in there. Even my eyes can't see inside that box very clearly. Guess I've gotta go see it for myself then. But there's a human in front of the room. Yeah, he looks like he's standing guard. I don't think we can just wait till he leaves. There's only one option. I've gotta go through that duct. Like you did in the detainment rooms? Yeah, I doubt that office duct is connected to the basement duct system, but I should be able to reach it from the ducts on the first floor. I can't fit in those ducts. Are you sure you're ready to go on your own? What, you think I'm gonna slip up? Remember, I'm the great detective Pikachu. Heh, <laughs> indeed. Either way, I can't go now because Butler's in there. Let's head back to the detainment rooms for now. Yes, that sounds wise. 
All right, so that's the entertainment rooms for us, but we learned a lot of information through that, so that was pretty yeah. good. Phew, at least we made it back safely. Yeah, how'd it go? Can we get out of here soon? No, this will take some time. Isn't that right, Pikachu? Yeah, but we'll get you all out of here. Trust me, just hang in there a little longer. We'll still need proof that we're innocent, but I think we need to leave that to Tim. Who's Tim, a human? Yeah, he's my partner. And a detective too. Well, a rookie detective. He's a detective? Yeah, and you might not believe this, but he and I can actually talk to and understand each other. Aw, oh, stop lying, that's, there's no way that's true. Pikachu, can you get in touch with this human? Well, he visited me yesterday, and I'm sure he'll be back again today. And I have a favor to ask. Will you ask him to check up on the mighty Yenna and in the city and report on how he's feeling? Sure, I can do that, but why are you interested in some mighty Yenna? Luxray had a fight with Mighty Anna right before he was thrown in here. During their squabble, Mighty Anna was injured and Luxray has been worried about him. Wow, I didn't realize you cared so much about your friends. Keep your thoughts to yourself. Easy, easy. I'll be sure to pass your message on to Tim during our next visit. Thanks. Thanks from me as well, Pikachu. Mighty Anna should be near Second Avenue. Got it, I'll pass that on to Tim too. Wonder what Tim's up to now. I guess we're gonna find out. So it seems like as we explore more of this jail, we're finding more Pokemon that have not committed the crimes that they are getting arrested for. How are we going to get them out of this situation? This looks like it's gonna be a pretty big deal. So with that being said, we'll figure out more of it in the next episode of Detective Pikachu Returns. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.